Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Windows Update Error Code Message 0x80070426 that there were some problems installing updates, but we'll try again later. If you keep seeing this and want to search the web or contact support for information, this may help. And it might say your device is at rest because it's out of date and missing important security and quality updates. Let's get you back on track so Windows can run more securely. Select this button to get going, and then it's just basically taking you back to a retry button to attempt to relaunch the faulty update. First thing I recommend trying would be actually to select the retry button and see if that is able to resolve the problem, as well as restarting your device and then attempt to check for updates again. Neither one of those options works for you. Something else we can look into here as well would be to open up the search menu, type in troubleshoot, best match, or come back with troubleshoot settings, go ahead and open that up. And then underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath most frequent, select the Windows Update Troubleshooter and the corresponding run button. And give us a minute to run. And then see if that's been able to hopefully resolve your problem at this point. If you're still having an issue with checking for updates, we can open up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video. Go ahead and copy the first one. It's a DISM scan. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it. So let's edit and paste it in. Hit enter and give us a couple minutes to run. And once that scan has concluded, go ahead and copy and paste the second command I'm going to have in the description of the video. It's going to be the System File Checker Utility Scan.
And once that is concluded, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do apologize to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.